Hello children and welcome to another maths lesson together. Today we're going to be solving word problems and we've learned how we can use bar modelling to help us solve word problems in maths. We start off by using concrete bars and then we move on to using the pictorial method to represent the bars. This is what we're going to be focusing on today. There are two types of bar model, part whole and comparison. Today, all of the word problems are going to involve part whole. Let's start off with our first problem. I'll read it to you first and then I'd like you to read it a second time, just like we do in school. There were 54 flowers in a flower bed. 19 of them were red. How many were not red? You read it with me now so that we are reading all of the information carefully. There were 54 flowers in a flower bed. 19 of them were red. How many were not red? Let's do YMCA. Y is you or us together. The first thing we need to do is model the problem. We know this is a part whole problem because we've been given the whole, the total number of flowers in the flower bed. So I need to draw a bar to represent that. It's really important that you label the bar correctly, as I'm going to show you now. So the value of the whole of that bar is 54. And you need to put in your horizontal line to show that. What else do we know about that 54? Well, it tells us that 19 of these are red. So I need to estimate approximately where 19 would be. I think 19 would be slightly less than halfway. The value of this part now is 19. And I must put on those horizontal lines. How many were not red? So these, this is the part that's red. So where will the question mark go? Which part of that bar is representing the flowers that are not red? It's this part here. Remember, we must put the question mark in and then show with our horizontal line what the question mark value is. We've now modelled it. We now need to Calculate. C for calculate. I need to write down the calculation that will help me work out the question mark. We've got the total, which is 54, and we've got part of it. What's left will give us the answer. The calculation involves subtraction. 54 needs to be my minuend because it's the number of the greatest value, it's the whole, and then I need to subtract 19. Some of the problems today, you'll be able to complete the calculation using a mental strategy. Some of the calculations you may need to use a written method. This is definitely one that we can use a mental method for. We like the number 19, don't we? It's close to a multiple of 10. So let's round and adjust. 54 subtract 20 is 34, and we need to adjust by adding 1 back on. So the difference is 35. And the last step is to answer the problem. How many were not read? So my sentence is going to be, 35 flowers were not red. 35 flowers were not red 
It's the end of my sentence, so I'm finished with a full stop. Moving on, on a washing line hung 32 t-shirts and 16 jumpers. How many items of clothing were hanging on the washing line? You read it with me now. On a washing line hung 32 t-shirts and 16 jumpers. How many items of clothing were hanging on the washing line? Moving on to problem two. It's time for us to YMCA it. This is definitely a part whole because the problem tells us the parts. We know how many, how many t-shirts and how many jumpers. We've got to find the total. So let's model the information. On a washing line hung 32 t-shirts. So the first part is going to be my t-shirts. And that is worth 32. And 16 jumpers. So I need to add 16, a bar of 16, onto my 32. I know 16 is half of 32, so this part of the bar needs to be approximately half of the first one. And that is worth 16. How many items of clothing were hanging on the washing line altogether? So the question mark is going to go in the middle because we need to find the whole now of that bar. It's time for, for us to calculate. What do you think we need to do with 32 and 16 to find the total. I think that word total will help you. We need to add. So the calculation is 32 add 16. Again, we can use mental methods to calculate this. We can either count on or we could partition. I'm going to count on. I'm going to pop 32 in my head Add 10, which is 42, and 6 more, which is 48. And the final part of YMCA is to write the answer as a sentence. How many items of clothing were hanging on the washing line altogether? There were 48 items of clothing, this is a longer sentence, hanging on the washing line or together. Any words that you're finding tricky to spell, look back in the problem because they will probably be there. Like the word all together. All together. Let's do another one. My turn first, then your turn to read it afterwards. There were 5,482 spectators at a rugby match. 4,254 of them were adults. The rest were children. How many children were there? Join in with me now. There were 5,482 spectators at a rugby match. 4,254 of them were adults. The rest were children. How many children were there? Now it's time to YMCA. Okay, so we need to model the problem first. Again, I know it's a part whole because we've been given the whole number of spectators and then we know about part of them. We know the part that are adults. So my bar 
is going to represent all of the spectators, which is 5,482. The part of this that we've been given is 4,254 adults. So I need to approximate, estimate where that would be. I think it would be up to about there. So I need to label that 4,254. So where will the question mark go? How many children were there? Well, these are the adults, so they must be the children. So let's put a question mark there. And we're now ready to calculate. So we know we've got the whole, and we've got part of the whole, and we can see the question mark is of less value. So we're going to have to do another subtraction. Make sure your minuend is the number of the greatest value and we're subtracting the number of adults. Now look at this calculation. I don't think we should do it mentally. Let's do column subtraction instead. So we need to lay it out in columns. We're subtracting. Make sure all of your digits go under the right number. And always remember to start with our ones. Two subtract four. We can't do it. So let's go and exchange ten tens. One ten for ten ones. Twelve subtract four. We can do that. That's eight ones. Seven tens subtract five tens, that's two tens. Four hundred subtract two hundred, that's two hundred. And five thousand subtract four thousand, that's one thousand. We're now ready to answer the calculation and the problem. How many children were there? There were 1,228 children. There were 1,228 children. Full stop. And there we are. And our final one. In a pet shop, there were 85 animals. There were 20 dogs, 25 cats, and the rest were fish. How many fish were there? Join in with me. In a pet shop, there were 85 animals. There were 20 dogs, 25 cats, and the rest were fish. How many fish were there? Let's do one final one. Now for extra challenge, you'll notice that this word problem involves two steps. We're going to have to do two calculations. Let me show you. I can tell again that this is a part whole problem because we've been told how many all together. That's the whole and we've been told parts of that whole. So let's model it. In a pet shop there were 85 animals. So my bar needs to represent the 85 animals. Let's find out about some of these parts. There were 20 dogs. 20 is almost a quarter of 85, so I'm going to find around a quarter, and that's 20. There were 25 cats, just a little bit more, 
than a quarter. That's 25. And the rest were fish. How many fish were there? Well, this is where the question mark needs to go. So this time, you can see the bar has got three parts. So let's see what we should do first. I think it would be a good idea to work out the value of this part of the bar now. I know that I need to add those numbers together. So I'm going to have calculation 1 and it's 20 plus 25. 20 add 20 is 40, add 5 is 45. I know this now is 45. We still know that is 85 and we've got to find this part here. What calculation do you think we need to do now to work out the question mark? That's right, we need to subtract. We're going to start with 85 as our minuend and we now know the value of the two parts which is 45. This will give us the value of the question mark. 85 subtract 45. 85 subtract 40 is 45. Subtract 5 gives us an overall difference of 40. One last thing to do. We need to write our answer as a sentence. How many fish were there? There were 40 fish or stuff. It's your turn now. If you need to watch the video again, that's fine. The more you watch it, the more confident you will become. Work hard everybody. Bye bye.